Hi, Chef Mike, Fresh Acres Market. Um, with today we have a um, brie, and, brie and puff pastry. And it's actually made with a German brie. This is a um, German brie with a French word on it, champignon. <laughs> um, the cheese wall here at Fresh Acres is about 28 feet long and we have Rob or Ray that can answer any questions you have about any of the cheese. There are cheese mongers here at Fresh Acres Market. Um, my portion of the game here though is the um, puff pastry wrapped brie. Now you can use plain brie. Um, we also have a truffle that's very nice. In this case what you do is um, the label you'll run or move with the rind you can leave on. So for the brie, just make one cut down the center, open it up like pie. This is smoked ham. You can use um, prosciutto, um, West Felon ham. Just check with the deli here. They have a huge variety of different imported hams, aged hams, Italian. Now the puff pastry. The sheets you want to be careful with. You want to thaw them out, not too soft. You get it to the point where it's pliable, you'll need some egg wash and your brie. In this case, I'm going to put it right in the center and if I have any excess, I'm just going to trim it off. Upside down is what you're ending up with. And the puff pastry has a rule too. It's relatively thick when you get it from the box. This piece has been rolled out a little thinner, so it's not, the pastry's not so thick. And all you really need to do is make sure that it's encased. And again, like I said, if you want to take some of the excess, you can just trim it off. That can be used again. You can bake it alongside your brie. Um, a lot of times with pie dough or savory dough for pot pies or anything like that, it's nice to have the extra crisps of uh, pastry dough that you can just eat or use to dip in the cheese actually in this case. Now just press your seams in. You don't need to be that delicate. When it bakes, they're not going to show as much. Now this whole thing will get egg washed to seal. And it goes in a 375 oven for about 12 minutes. So this is our brie and puff pastry. You can make them ahead of time, keep them refrigerated, and return them to the oven so that you warm them back again and you'll get this. The cheese will melt, but at the rate you choose it. Something to go with it. We have a full line of Stonewall Kitchen. This happens to be apple cranberry chutney, which would be perfect with the ham and brie. So this ham and brie is a, is a great appetizer. It's very popular. Um, again, this is a German brie we have right here at Fresh Acres Market. Please use this as a resource for anything culinary. Um, we have many talented and knowledgeable people within the store. And Michael Quinlan from Table and Vine will be happy to um, give you some fantastic food and wine pairings something specific for the brie and ham. With the baked brie uh, wrapped in uh, puff pastry, this is a great dish to put out for a cocktail hour sort of reception. And we almost always suggest champagne. This is a beautiful wine. This one happens to be Le Brun Servene Brut Reserve. This is a table and vine private selection, meaning that we import this wine ourselves from a gentleman named Patrick Le Brun. Most champagne, it's not common necessarily that the wineries grow all the grapes themselves. In this case, this gentleman does grow every grape and make every bottle of wine himself. Uh, we're glad to represent this grower and farmer uh, in his endeavor. Uh, again, champagne has that beautiful acidity, really wonderful richness, and it's a great way to wet your whistle at the beginning of, a, of an evening of eating and drinking. Uh, it goes beautifully with this puff pastry uh, and baked brie with the mushroom, a really great match. Uh, for food and wine pairing advice, come to Table and Vine. I'm Michael Quinlan. We'll be so happy to help you.